G'day everyone, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel and in today's video we'll be covering my round 2 AFL tips for the 2022 AFL season and as well as that we'll be going through my round 1 tips to see how many tips I got correct, see how good of a round I had in the first week of the season. If you guys do enjoy this content make sure to leave a like and subscribe and also make sure to join my tipping comp on ESPN because there are some massive prizes up for grabs that you do not want to miss. In round 1 there were definitely some up and down games, there were some really really interesting games and there were some games that just weren't really good to watch. Uh, it all started off on Wednesday the 16th of March where you had the grand final rematch from 2021. We had the D's and the Dogs. So obviously in last week's tipping video I got the D's to get it done by 29 points but for some reason on ESPN it says that I've tipped the D's by 0 points. I'm not even sure how that's possible so a bit of a glitch in the system for ESPN. However I would have been actually 3 points off. But for this game, it says I'm 26 points off because of some random glitch that has happened. The D's scored a total of 97 to the Dogs 71. The D's got it done by 26 points. However, I did end up tipping the D's, so we did get that one correct. Moving on to the second game of the season, we have the classic Colton and Richmond matchup. Usually played at the first game of the round. However, this year it is the second game of the round. Played on the Thursday night. Colton, really good win. First time they've bet... Uh, Richmond in at the season opener since 2012 so massive win for the Carlton Blues and what I tip from myself I did end up tipping Carlton in a bit of an upset I did say that this game could go both ways and that Richmond could easily win it however I wanted to go for an upset and it was really just Carlton's time to shine it, it they had to get it done it's their year they had to do it moving on to the Friday game it was St Kilda and Collingwood at Marvel Stadium now unfortunately I did tip the Saints in this matchup however I did say that this one could easily go either way and it did go the other way it went to Collingwood Collingwood a massive win won it by 17 points in the end under the roof at Marvel Stadium Saints just didn't really perform well the entire game I did actually stream this game and it just really it was a really entertaining game to watch like it was really close but Collingwood sort of just dominated the entire game the Saints could never really catch up to them since the beginning of the game so I did tip the Saints and unfortunately got that one wrong for my first tip incorrect of this round. Moving on to the Saturday games now, it was Geelong and Essendon at the MCG. 2.10pm, perfect time slot for a footy game, and Geelong absolutely slaughtered the Bombers. Now, I don't think this is the end of the Bombers already. You can't write a team off just from the round one result. Now, obviously, they got smacked by Route 11 goals. Uh, however, I think Essendon will bounce back, and I feel like this is just one bad game for the Bombers. Now, obviously, they are finals contenders. They are supposed to be good this year. They're versing Geelong, a really experienced and really good side. So, I feel like this can be an excuse for a round one matchup, but I don't think this will happen to the Bombers too much anymore this season. Moving on to the next game, it was GWS and Sydney at a core stadium, 5.10pm. The Sydney showdown, Buddy Franklin trying to get the 1,000 goals. He needed five that match. He only kicked once. Now he's four-way from the big thousand goals. This game I ended up tipping the Swans and they did get it done by 20 points in the end. It was a very back and forth game. Sydney would kick a goal and GWS would reply immediately. GWS would kick a goal, Sydney would reply immediately. Very back and forth footy, however, it really was an interesting game. And the, uh, and the Swans got it done by 20 points and also got my tip correct. Moving on to the Saturday night matchup now. It was Brisbane and Port Adelaide at the Gabba, 8.10pm, so a very late time slot. Now, for this tip, if I did use some common sense, I definitely would have got it right. However, I went for Port in, the, in an upset. Now, obviously, in the round one tipping, I did make a massive mistake, saying that Port have won a lot of matchups at the Gabba. I sort of meant to mean the other way around. I mean, uh, Brisbane have lost have won a lot of matchups against Port at the Gabba. However, I did tip Port. I really thought they were going to get it done in a bit of an upset win. I th thought they were going to come out firing, and I feel like Brisbane were just going to collapse at the Gabba like they have done before. Moving on now to the Sunday games. It was Hawthorne and North Melbourne at the MCG. 1.10pm, the Hawks ended up getting done by 20 points. Now, the Kangaroos were up in some of this game, so the result easily could have slid in favour of the North Melbourne Kangaroos. However, they did unfortunately lose by 20 points and I did lose my tip there as well so two in a row incorrect moving on to the second last game of the round it was at Adelaide Oval Adelaide and Frio and this 100% the best game of the round Adelaide just 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 loses grip at the end of the game and collapse by one point against the Dockers. What a win from the Frio Dockers, as I am a supporter of the club. Crazy win for the Dockers, and on the road, it's always a really hard road trip for the Dockers to go down to Adelaide. We don't usually perform too well at Adelaide Oval. However, we were up by 25 points at halftime, so to only win it by one to 
pretty much nearly choke against a bottom four side is quite quite bizarre. However, Geelong did choke against uh, Adelaide last year in round one, so I'll take a win against Adelaide in round one to get our season kick started. We really need that for some momentum. Ended up tipping the Dockers in that one, did get it done, so we'll move on to the last game of the round, which was West Coast and Gold Coast at Optus Stadium. This 100% tip of the round, I tipped the Gold Coast Suns. I don't think anyone else uh, if you did tip the Suns, leave a comment below. However, I'm pretty sure I'm the only person I know that actually did tip the Suns. And the Suns ended up getting it done by 27 points. That is just proof that the West Coast Eagles are on a really slight decline at the moment in the 2022 season. Losing against the Gold Coast Suns, who just pretty much have no history behind their club. No real results that show positive, um, yeah, positive scores, but... They lost by 27 points at their home ground against the Gold Coast Suns. Very unexperienced side. However, the Suns, who knows? Matt Rao really looked really good and could be possibly back to his 2020 form, which the Suns would really, really like. A total of six out of nine tips correct for the round one footy. Now we're going to move on to the round two tips and see who I will predict to win these games. It all starts off on the Thursday night. We have the Dogs and the Blues. Now, the Dogs lost their game against the Ds. However, that is a very hard matchup. And Carlton did win against the Tigers in the second game of the round. The Doggies do have the money to win this as it is at Marvel Stadium. The Doggies are $1.58 to the Blues, $2.40. 76% of tippers have tipped the Dogs. 24 have tipped Carlton. Um, but every time these two teams face off, Carlton really do show a very strong, very strong form against the Dogs. And I feel like they could get up in this one. And they have really proved people wrong before against the Dogs. This game could easily fall in favour to the Dogs. However, I'm going to tip Carlton because they really do seem to perform really well um, in front of the Doggies sometimes. This game could easily slide the way of the Dogs. However, I'm going to tip Carlton because of the previous results we have seen from some of these matchups from these two sides. I'm going to tip Carlton, get it done. However, it could easily go the way of the Dogs. And as it is the Thursday night game, the first game of the round, we need to be margin. Now, hopefully margin actually, um, yeah, actually uh, submits this time. I'm going to tip the Blues to win by 16 points. However, I feel like it could be even higher if the Blues do get up. Moving on to the Friday night matchup now. We have Sydney and Geelong at the SCG. This game is going to be an absolute classic. I love when these two teams face off. It's really interesting uh, because both sides... Both sides are really good, and especially when they face each other, they're just their lists are perfect for each other. It just really uh, puts together a really nice game of footy to watch. At the SCG, I feel like Sydney could have a bit of an upper hand. However, last year, Geelong were robbed against the Swans at the SCG. Uh, Sydney do have the money to win this, actually. Geelong are first after a massive win against the Bombers, and Sydney also had a pretty good win against GWS in the opening round. 54% of tippers have tipped the Swans, with 46 tipping Geelong. I feel like the a logical tip would be to go the Swans and I'm going to go the Swans. I'm going to back in the Sydney Swans. I feel like they're going to have a really good season this year and I feel like they will boost uh, their momentum with two wins in a row. Moving on to the Saturday matchups now we move to the MCG in Melbourne to see Collingwood face off against the Crows. Now Collingwood have 92% of tippers tip the pies with only 8% Tipping Adelaide. Adelaide coming off a loss against the Dockers at home. Collingwood coming off a pretty impressive win against the Saints. And an up-and-coming Saints side as well. Like, they probably could make finals this year, the Saints. So, Collingwood, massive win to start off their year. Collingwood also have the money to win at $1.43 to $2.85. The Crows, I'm going to tip Collingwood. I feel like I'm going to go with the tippers. However, this game could go either way. It's, it's a 50-50 chance, in my opinion. However, just more tippers have tipped the Collingwood Magpies, and I'm going to go with that percentage of people. Moving on to the 4.35 p.m. game. We are still in Melbourne. We head to Marvel Stadium. Now, Essendon and Brisbane. 90% of people have tipped Brisbane, with 10% tipping Bombers. Now, the Bombers could easily bounce back in this game. Only 10% of tippers have tipped the Bombers. However, I'm going to tip the Essendon Bombers as well. I feel like Essendon are going to bounce back and I feel like this is their game to do it. I feel like they could actually get it done against Brisbane. Brisbane didn't have a strong win against Port and only winning by 11 points at their home venue isn't the best effort. However, I feel like Essendon can perform really well and bounce back from the bottom of the table position. Moving on to Saturday night matchups now. We have Port Adelaide and Hawthorne moving to Adelaide Oval and Port Adelaide obviously heavy favourites to win this game against the Hawks. Uh, back in 2014 when both sides were actually half decent at Adelaide Oval, I would tip the Hawks and it would be a really interesting matchup. However, this time I feel like Port are just going to absolutely slaughter the Hawks here. I could be wrong. 
there could be a massive upset on our hands, but I think the logical option is obviously to go Port Adelaide, and I feel like they will get it done by a fair bit. Last game on the Saturday night, we have Gold Coast and Melbourne at Metricon Stadium. Now, Melbourne, 96% of tippers have tipped Melbourne, with only 4% tipping the Suns. Gold Coast are $4.60 to win this matchup, with Melbourne only being $1.20. So the D's obviously in heavy favour to win this matchup, and it would be stupid not to go with them. However, the Gold Coast upset could be very possible at Metricon, obviously coming off a strong win over in Perth. So coming back home for the Suns, I feel like somehow maybe they could have a chance, but I'm going to tip the Ds, go with the logical answer. I don't want to be risking too many like I did last round. Now moving on to the Sunday matchup, Sunday 1.10pm in Melbourne Marvel Stadium, we have North Melbourne taking on West Coast. And North Melbourne are favourites to beat West Coast. Can you believe that? The fact that it's at Marvel Stadium, West Coast really do play well at Marvel Stadium. However, coming off a loss, a 30-point loss against Gold Coast at your home ground isn't a good look when you go and face pretty much another bottom four side. So if they lose against two bottom four sides in a row, they absolutely in the mud. If they lose against last year's Wooden Spooners, West Coast season over. For this game, North Melbourne actually heavy favourites. Also, the tippers have more, more people have tipped North Melbourne than West Coast as well. I um, feel like it could go any way. Now, this isn't just a logical um, prediction. This is actually a hard one to tip because obviously most people would go West Coast due to past success, but at the moment, they are really in the mud and their form is just trash. Um, I can definitely see North Melbourne getting the win here, and therefore I'm going to go with the tippers. I'm going to tip North. However, West Coast could easily bounce back and win this game. Second last game of the round, we have Richmond and GWS at the MCG. GWS probably play some of the worst footy you will ever see at the MCG. However, Richmond not in the greatest form at the moment. 74% of people have tipped Richmond, with 26 only tipping GWS. Both teams coming off losses in round one. However, Richmond's loss was to Carlton. GWS's loss was to Sydney, so a pretty good side GWS. GWS lost two, and Richmond really just don't have any excuses for that round one game. Richmond $1.77 to win, while GWS $2.05. So Richmond are heavy favourites in terms of tippers and also the betting. Uh, however, I'm going to tip GWS. I feel like they just showed more uh, last week. Like I feel like GWS just showed more against the Swans than Richmond did against Carlton. Now, obviously, it's going to be a very hard uh, game for GWS to travel down to Melbourne and play at, Mar uh, play at the MCG, sorry, where they just played the most despicable footy you will ever see. I'm going to tip Richmond just only because of the fact that it's at the MCG. However, if GWS do get up now, I'm going to be quite angry. And last game of the round, we head to Optus Stadium where the Dockers take on St Kilda. Freo, 84% of people have tipped the Dockers with only 16% of people tipping the Saints. Freo heavy favourites to win this one as well in the betting. However, I feel like this one could slide both ways. Saints don't play the worst brand of footy at Optus Stadium. However, being uh, coming off a loss against Collingwood in round one isn't the best look for the Saints. And Freo... Very hard road trip for Frio going down to Adelaide Oval. And I think we will win it at home. So I'm going to tip the Dockers to get it done. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy these tips, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as they are coming out weekly. Make sure to join the ESPN tipping comp as there are some massive prices up for grabs and you do not want to be missing out. If you do enjoy this content, leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you all in my next video.